Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam invites the Banu Abbas tribe to Islam. Hadrat Wabisa narrates from his grandfather radiyallahu anhu that their tribe was stationed close to the first Jamara in Mina near the Masjid Khaif where when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to them riding. Mounted behind him on the same animal was Hadrat Zaid bin Haritha radiyallahu anhu. He says Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam invited us to accept Islam but by Allah we failed to accept his invitation and thus committed a grave crime He continues we had already heard about the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Hajj season and when he came to us and gave us the message we did not accept it With us was Maisara bin Masruq Abusi who said I swear by Allah that it will be an excellent idea to believe this man and to take him with us to our locality and keep him with us i swear by allah that the words of this man shall soon be dominant and reach the entire world the people said to him forget this talk why do you present to us something that we do not have the strength to handle After hearing what Maisara had to say, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam grew hopeful that he would accept iman. So he spoke to him further. Maisara said to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "What you are speaking is most excellent and extremely enlightening. However, my people are opposing me, and a man has to do as his people do. If a man's own people do not support him, how can he expect his enemies to treat him?" Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then left. As the people left, Maisara told them to proceed to Fidak, because many Jews lived there, and they could ask the Jews about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When they approached the Jews and asked about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Jews took out a book, placed it before them, and read to them about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It read, "The unlettered Arab." Nabi shall ride a camel and shall suffice on very little to eat. He shall neither be too tall nor too short, and his hair shall neither be very curly nor extremely straight. His eyes shall have red lines, and his complexion shall be fair with tones of red. After reading this much, the Jews said. If the person who invited you fits this description you should believe in him and adopt his religion we shall not follow him because we are jealous of him and we shall fight brutal battles against him on many occasions there shall not be an arab who does not either follow him or fight him or fight him so you should be among those who follow him Upon hearing this, Maisara turned to his people and said, "O oh people, the matter is now clear." The people said, "We shall return the following Hajj season to meet him." So they returned to their homes. However, their leaders refused to let them return for the following Hajj, and therefore none of them were able to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam later migrated to Medina and it was when he performed the farewell hajj that he met Maisara and recognized him Maisara radhiyallahu anhu asked O oh Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam by Allah I was eager to follow you from the day you halted your camel by us but matters took the course as they did As you see, Allah has decided that I become a Muslim much later. Most of those who were with me have passed away. Where have they gone to? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied, "All those who have passed away while following a religion other than Islam are in the fire of Jahannam." My Sara radhiyallahu anhu said, "All praise is due to Allah who has saved me." He then accepted Islam and. was an excellent muslim he also enjoyed a respectable standing with hadrat abu bakar radhiyallahu anhu